Um, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Christiana and if you want to get to know me more, you could subscribe down below. Today is pretty boring around my house and I just figured, you know what, I am going to film a random tag video. So this is 17 random questions and without further ado, I'm just gonna go and start. Um, first question, how did you get your YouTube username? Well, it's basically my name, so don't need to say more about that. Um, if you could change your name to anything, what would it be and why? Um, I would never change my name. I love my name. It's so unique. I don't really know a lot of people who have that ver version of the name. Don't get me wrong. I know that there are a lot of Kristens out there and stuff like that, but like my name, my Christiana is just very rare and I've never ever met a person who has my name before and it's I mean I have met people who have kind of the same name but just differently spelled but like really the same name same spelled as me never met anyone um, so no I wouldn't change it but when I was a child I wanted to change it to Julia so bad I wanted to be Julia I don't know why but Julia was just my favorite name back then. If you could go back in time and give your younger self advice, what would it be and why? Um, I would probably tell myself to be more confident um, just because I was not. I was very, very shy. I would probably... If I honestly could go back in time, I would not go back that much in time. I would go back like... Um, two years to save myself from a personal heartache that I had back then because that was a lot worse than anything that happened to me in my childhood to be honest so uh, yeah I would tell myself to not engage with this person too much because that person broke my heart into little teeny tiny pieces. How old were you when you first learned to blow a bubblegum bubble? Um, don't know because I never really had that much bubble gum, but I would say first grade in school, like six. Um, what did you want to be when you were little? I always wanted to win an Oscar. And the Oscar goes to. So I always wanted to be an, an actress or. Um, musical actress that would have been cool too so because i love to sing as well and dance so that would be like everything combined in one because being like a musician i've always had fears of that i don't know not not because you have to be in front of so many people i don't think that i would mind but it's just i don't know i don't know i like acting more it's more fun um what do you order at Starbucks? I order basically everything throughout the different seasons. My favorite drink is the pumpkin spice latte and I'm, it's just going into summer and I am so awaiting autumn to have my pumpkin spice latte again because I'm eating it like, uh, eating, I'm drinking it like an idiot throughout that time. But uh, yeah, right now I'm ordering this mango passion fruit mix thing. It's so good, it's so great, mm, I love it. Um, what's the hardest you ever laughed? Oh my god, yeah well, um, that happened when I was studying for geography in, um, I don't know, secondary school. I don't know how to call the schools from here so that everyone knows what I mean. But anyways, I was about probably 11, probably. And my mom and I were together in her bed because I used to sleep in her bed because she was single anyways or her boyfriend was, uh, no, she wasn't single, her, her boyfriend was um, only here like two weeks a month because he was from Germany and so they were like, he was here for two weeks then he was two weeks at home, yada yada. Anyways, um, what I wanted to say, we were studying and it was about wins. And I'm sorry, I just... Um, this is not a cute, like, ah, story, it is just, we were talking about wins and how wins are made, and in that moment, I don't even remember who of us it was, 
there was some other type of wind in the room, if you know what I mean. Uh, and yeah, we, we, we just, we were laughing so hard. We were laughing so hard because I don't know why it was that funny, but it's still now when I think back, even when we speak about it, my mom and I, we just love so much because it was so funny. It was just, oh, yeah, the winds. I'm just telling her always now, the winds, it's the winds, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, if you could play any instrument, which would it be and why? I would play the piano only because I feel like the piano is such a beautiful instrument. I love it. It's so oh, amazing. I love the sound. Um, what's your favorite thing to do when you're upset? My favorite thing to do when I'm upset? Probably watching TV shows. I could watch TV shows all day, every day. I would probably watch either Charmed or Gossip Girl, stuff that I've already seen, stuff where I know that is like not upsetting me more. Um, I think that's what I do, yeah. What's your favorite movie? My favorite, I have so many favorite movies. Um, one of my favorite movie, <sighs> Lord of the Rings, is my favorite probably from that type, but the movie that I've seen the most and the movie that I love the most probably, and I may have said something else in another video because I know that I did the 15 weird questions um, or facts about me or whatever, but my favorite movie is The Holiday with um, Kate Winslet, Cameron Diaz, Jack Black and Jude Law. This movie gets me every single time. I love it so much and I could watch it every single day. And I had had times where I did watch it every single day, so yeah, that movie. Um, what is your f one food you cannot live without? Well, I think the food that I eat the most is um, cheese in general, but uh, mozzarella cheese with tomatoes and basil and, and, and olive oil and oh, yeah. Mm, mm -hmm. Oh, and a lot of Parmesan cheese. So I think that the one food is Parmesan cheese because I could put it everywhere and it just makes everything so good. Parmesan cheese, yes. What's your favorite dessert? Hmm. Hmm. I'm more a sour person to be honest, even though right now I'm still eating my birthday cake, so I'm eating sweet all of the time, but um, my favorite dessert, probably something with chocolate, like chocolate mousse or profiteroles or um, also creme brulee, I really like creme brulee, so I don't really have a specific favorite dessert. Uh, favorite pizza topping? Oh, thank you for asking. I love, um, I don't even know if this is called salami. Is it called salami? Salami? Is it? Hold on. We're gonna find out. Okay, it is salami. <laughs> mm, I love salami pizza and I top it up with pineapple. And I'm telling you, you might be thinking, oh my god, this is disgusting. But no, think about it. The Hawaiian Hawaiian pizza has, um, what is it, uh, ham on it and pineapple, but the ham is just not spicy enough for me, so I replace it with um, salami, and it's so good. I, I got my friends to try it, and a lot of my friends now order the same pizza I do because it is so good. So if you haven't tried that and you like pineapple and you like salami and you like spicy and pizza, just why not try it? Um, would you rather have the superpower to read minds or the superpower to be invisible? Um, probably neither of those because I wouldn't, I mean, if I had the power to read minds whenever I wanted to, that would be cool. But if I had the power that I always had to be like reading minds so that the, the, the thoughts of people were forced on me, I don't really want to hear what everyone thinks about me, what everyone like just thinks in general. This is just not, I, I'm not a person like that. Obviously, if I'm asking someone, did you cheat on me? then this would be probably very helpful, but uh, being invisible in some situation would probably also be helpful. Uh, but I'm just a person. I don't... I, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not a person who likes to be invisible, you know? I, I'm more a center of attention person. Not saying that, I mean, you know, 
you need to be the center of attention. But it's just me. I, I just like to be with people and that I'm really there and not just in the back because I was a shy girl back in the day and I hated it. Uh, and now I'm just with my friends and I just like being there. Not, not necessarily the center of attention, but just being there. And uh, so, I don't know, but probably the thoughts thing, if I could turn it on and off. Otherwise, the invisible thing, because then I could play pranks on my friends and that would be fun. Um, what did you do for your last birthday? I'm not going to go too much into that detail, because I've already uploaded a what I got for my birthday and a little... Uh, chit chat stuff that I did for my birthday, so um, it's probably already up, so I'm gonna link it down below. Um, if you had one selfish, selfish wish, what would it be and why? I mean, I don't know what definitely uh, like what's meant with selfish wish, because uh, if it's a, a wish that would like ruin others in terms of being selfish. I don't know, I don't have a wish like that. I wish for a Chanel bag. Yes! I don't know if this is selfish, but I would love to have a Chanel bag one day, so... Uh, yeah, I don't know what else my selfish wish could be for you to subscribe. But yeah, I don't know, I have no idea. Um, and last but not least question, if you were a Pokemon, Definitely. Uh, what would you be called and what would you look like? Well, I am not into the Pokemon thing that much. I mean, I had, I had to watch it with my, with my cousin because we had a deal. He watched Sailor Moon with me, I watched Pokemon with him. Anyways, if I were a Pokemon, I, I couldn't think of something that I like invent, something new. But I would probably be, and I don't know how this creature is called, but it was a little tiny fox. And it was so cute and it could, I think it could inflame at some point. I don't know if it was the upgraded version of it or if it just was the same one, but it could inflame and it was so cool. I love that one. So I would be this little flamey fox, but I don't know how it's called. Maybe it's called flamey. I don't know. So um, this was the video. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and you'd like to be a member of this uh, channel and uh, yeah I wish you the best day ever and I'll see you in my next video on Sunday Mwah. Bye.